everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you everything I've ever coloured updated 2022 edition. Um, so there will be some books, unfortunately, I just have not got round to because either they just weren't on my radar, I forgot about them, or there were just other books I just wanted to colour in. Um, so, which is sad. So <laughs> it does make me think... Um, like it just remind me about those books because sometimes I um, have literally just forgotten about them. So doing this will help me think, oh yeah, I should do another picture on that one. So hopefully maybe some of these next time you will see that I have actually done <laughs> some more pictures in. Um, so it's going to be a long video. So I would get a cup of tea or some other sort of drink that you like, maybe a snack. I'm not going to go into super detail on these pictures just because I have so many books. We'd be here forever in a day. Um, I mean, you know, I might briefly talk a little bit about some of the ones that are my favourite ones or maybe some of the ones that were disaster ones here and there. But mostly I'm just going to just show you straight up what is in the book. Um, again, if you don't particularly love long videos, feel free to skip some of it or pay me at two times speed. I do not mind. <laughs> um, but it will be a long video. So I'm going to start with my bottom shelf and these mostly have my Japanese books, Korean books, Chinese books, Disney books. Um, I have my Colour in Heaven, Hannah Lynn, Jasmine Beckett Griffith and then some Colour in Heaven. Now I don't know if I'm going to get all of this bottom shelf done in this one video. I'm going to try my very best because then again it wouldn't be super long because the second shelf has got books that have many pictures in. So these ones don't necessarily have tons in, so it should be able to get through them quite quickly. So we're going to start off with Forest Girl by April. So this is the first book, and I have done um, a few pictures in here, actually. So let's get to them. And no, I have not tagged them, because if I did that, that would take an absolute day and age, and I have not got that time. So I will just be flipping through them. So I um, have done this one and I have tried to make it look like the picture on this side. I do tend to do that with her books, but not all the time. Um, I mean, her pages and stuff. So I really liked how this one came out. I thought it looks really cool. And also the fact that the canvas is really quite, you know, invisible almost. Um, so I've done that one. I have done this one. This was the first one that I did in here. And I really, really liked how this one came out. I really felt like that one came out really, really well. And I've done this one as well. I think this one is the most recent one I've done. I think I did this one a few months ago. And there is some stickles in the sky. And I basically, a V told me, um, I think, is this stickles? Maybe it's not stickles. No, it's not because it's coming off. Sorry, this will be this, um, I thought it was stickles. No, I got this um, paint from the Art Spirits. It's like fairy dust, it's a glitter paint. That's what that is. Because stickles, the glitter does not come off. Once it's laid down, it is dry and that is coming off on my finger. So that will be a glitter paint. But it's very pretty and I really like it. Um, and I'm just, oh, I really like this one. I should come and do that one. Um, I'm just going to see, yep, there's another one here, which I think might be the last one I've done in this one. Um, I'm not a big fan of having done this blue, but I didn't want it brown because I kind of felt that looked boring. But yeah, I like how that one came out as well. I think that might be everything for, yeah, the first tail. So I've just done four in that one, which isn't too bad. Every now and then I come back and do them. I think this is one of my favourite out of the three. I think I like the pictures more in that one. Um, this is Forest Book, uh, sorry, Forest Girl 2. This is like the, kind of like the premium artist edition, so the paper's a bit better in here. So you can use more watercolours, and actually I probably will use, since I've got the Kurotaki Zig Clean Clear Real Brush Pens, they have such a long name, I will probably do some more works. And here's, so here's me just testing them out, just how they work um, there. And you will see, there's some lovely autumn pictures in here that I probably will get around to doing. So this is what I used them on. This was like the first one that I used them on and they look, worked great. Um, I really, really enjoyed the, using them. So they're like a water brush, they're water, sorry, watercolor kind of like, 
They're like a watercolour in a pen almost. So you can reactivate them, you can use them like paint almost. Not completely, but you can more or less use them. Um, I did find that unfortunately with her skin, it kind of bled a bit. So it is a bit trickier. I, have, I think it's just me not waiting for it to fully dry. So noted for next time. But yeah, I really like how this one came out and I like how I did her dress as well. So it wasn't completely the same as this one, but similar. Um, and then this was the first one I did in here and I did that mostly with watercolour. I think I did a few bits like her skin in pencil in this book, but everything pretty much is done in a watercolour in that one because like I said, this is really thick paper. So it takes watercolour rather well. So now I need to find where the other ones are. Most of the pictures I've done in Forest School seem to be in the first section of the book. I haven't really done any further back, which is quite odd, but also handy for finding. But that's a nice one to do for autumn. So, see, this is reminding me of pictures. <laughs> Autumnal pictures and things like that for the season. Um, I feel like there is another one. In, oh, 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 I found it. I feel like, oh, yeah, there's two more. I was going to say, I thought, I'd, I think I've done four in most of them. Maybe the third one I might have only done three in. But I've done four in pretty much all of them. So there's another one. I hate the background of this one. Just not a fan. Everything else is beautiful, but I hate how I did the background. I don't know why I thought, let's do that, this. Uh, but yeah, so there's that one. And then the last one I have is this one, which is what I did last autumn. And I used watercolour paints for the background, which made the process obviously a lot quicker. But if I'd had those Kuretaku uh, zigs, I think I could have done more of this kind of effect with the leaves a bit better, just because it's a smaller nib and I probably could have, I don't know, I could have made it look nicer. But yes, um, I did copy the pattern from the dress on here and I, yeah, I really liked how this one came out. Again, it made it quicker, like it didn't take as long because some of the detail on these is like, oh, I don't want to spend forever doing all that in like pencil and things. So using paint really does help. And like I said, because this paper is really thick, it works a treat. So that is everything I've done in Forest Girl 2. Um, actually, I'm going to make... I was going to pile them on the sofa next to me. So <laughs> I'm going to not do that because I can foresee them just going to go everywhere. So this is Forest Girl 3. It does have a... I think it's Moments Holy for Yourself is the translated title. I have the Japanese edition because it was on Amazon Japan. And it was rather hard to get hold of the Korean edition without paying tons and tons of money and shipping. So I was rather pleased when I found it on Amazon Japan. So that is where I got it from. And actually, I feel like the paper in this, because this is very much the same style as the first one is, I feel like the Japanese paper is actually better than the Korean paper in this one. So um, I have only, I think I've only done three in this one. Um, so we have done this one, which was the first one I did in here. As you can see, pretty much more or less did exactly what was on that side. I quite like that you have these to kind of help you if you want, you know, reference. And then I did this in the autumn um, and it has got this like glitter gouache on because I really needed to use it up. And there's a cat just walking on the table, so <laughs> don't mind them. So, yeah, I did that one. Um, and, um, I also did this one, I did this in the springtime because of all the cherry blossoms and stuff. So I thought this was a nice one. It was also really quick to do as well. I didn't bother doing the background because I actually thought it looked quite nice just as it was. And I didn't want to like, you know, I have got gouache kind of in this color, so I could have done that, but I decided to leave it. And I think that's all I've done in that one. So yeah, just three in that one. Um, your tail is in the way, Apollo. Shift it. <laughs> He's just sat on the table, you can see he's just here. <laughs> right, next I have my Chinese books, which are very neglected and abandoned. Now, I'm not actually sure if I've even coloured in this one, so give me a second to just flip through, because, oh, I have, because I think, I think I have done a picture in all of them. I'm just not 100% sure. So I think this is the only picture I've done in this one. Yeah, so this is the only picture I've done in this one. And actually it was a buddy colour as well with KP. Um, yeah, this one. Just a girl, lying down. Um, this is like from a few years ago. So obviously I like the colours I chose to do the shading and the shadowing. But I think I use the um, Kirby Noor pencils. And I just don't think they worked very well on this paper. So I do find it's quite grainy. So yeah, 
<laughs> not hugely a huge fan, but it's it's not bad. It's it's fine. Um, I don't know what any of these are called, by the way. So there is a title. I don't know who's it by. I got it off AliExpress as part of a triple pack. So here's another one. I again, I think I think this one I've done pictures in. Yeah. So here is this girl who looks like reminds me of Sailor Moon. Um, so I did her, and then. I did this all time in a while. I really love how this one came out. I did use some gouache on her dress, which, or her robe, should I say, um, which looks really cool. And also just like the Acer tree, maple, uh, is it a maple tree, I think? But it's called an Acer tree because we have one in my parents' garden. So that's why I happen to know that. Um, I think that's all I've done in that one, just those two. And then this one, I know I have done a few in here. Or at least one yeah so i did this one this is one of my favorite ones i've actually done in these books i just really genuinely love how it came out like i love the hair color i chose i mean the background's simple but i i just feel like it works really well like the colors just really stand out so i just really love the colors that i chose for this so i did use gouache on her dress and then her, of course there are loads of stickles in the background because i was just like i don't know what to do um now i have like metallic paint i probably would metallic paint that but um you know what stickles is just as nice um i don't think i've done anything else so this one is more like um uh, i don't know like cre so, sort of like mythical creatures and things i think in this one um i have looked through them every now and then i just don't see any pictures that really sort of take my fancy that i really feel like you know you've got a feel in the mood to want to do a picture and none of them were like making me feel that i wanted to color them so that's why i just haven't um this one is um coloring book for the flowers and sweet girls now i do like this book i just ran i just haven't managed to get around to it so i haven't done any more in here since you saw it last year sadly um but again hopefully i will now this one's a bit easier because i have actually decided to color this one in order so to start with i mean i don't know if i will for sure continue to do that but I, that's what i have done so i have done this girl um she is the balloon flower girl really like how she came out i am using there's like a poster with all of them like they have there is a poster with some of them like like the picture in here but there's also like little i think yeah you've got these like little chibi ones and i've kind of been using these for the colors for the dresses and things i'm not necessarily def 100 percent stuck to it i think i have for the most part so far but i don't know going forward if i'll stick to it completely but I've been using that anyway, because sometimes it's just nice to have things to help you with colours when you're not sure. <laughs> so I've done this one, and finally Apollo has left, <laughs> so it makes it easier for me to show you. This one is the Calla Lily one. I really am not a fan of how this one turned out. <laughs> just no. <laughs> and this is the one I think I did last year, which is the Chamomile one, and I really like how she came out. I think she looks awesome. So I now need to do the Cape Jasmine. So this is my next one that I need to do. Um, yeah, I don't know why I've decided, because I, I like all, I, I mean, obviously, I, generally speaking, I like all the pictures in my books, but I actually just thought it'd be quite nice to actually do this one in order, so that's what I'm going to try and do. Um, I can't say for sure that I'll do that all the time, but for the moment, that's what I'm doing. Okay, next, I've got a, another Chinese book. It is by Googly. I cannot the life think of me what the title is and this is another one i have just not come back to um it's a really thick book as well there's so many pictures i think also she's released another one that i've seen recently um so i do need to come back like this is a beautiful picture yeah there's so many lovely pictures in here and actually again you've got like a little like um thing here with like picture of all of them or most of them anyway so you can use that to help you and then i got some poster thing which Goodness knows if I'll ever get around to. So I've only done two in here. This one, which wasn't the first one I ever did. And I use what colour pencils. And you can see how streaky they are in the background. But she herself looks really cool. I think I use watercolour pencils for all of it, actually. Um, so, yeah. And then I think there's only one other one that I've done. And I did use one watercolour paint in it. I think, is that it there? Yeah. So I use, obviously, some colour pencils to do... We've got it all in the frame. There we go. I use colour pencils to do obviously all the main bits in it, and then I've used watercolour for the background. Again, the background, 
I think this is before I sort of really knew, like this is, like now I feel like I'm a bit more confident in my watercolouring background abilities. And you, it's just not even blended in the mat. Like, I don't know why. I mean, it could also be this paper soaked the water up really quickly before I could get a chance to kind of blend it together. I don't know, because it's been that long since I've actually done anything in here. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, please excuse the horrendous background. The rest of it looks rather nice though, but um, yeah, this is quite toothy paper. So I do think harder pencils are probably better on this one. I think I may, no, I think I use Prismas actually, but I think, or maybe I use Polychromos. That looks like Polychromos ultramarine colours there. So I might have used Polys on that one, um, which are harder pencils, but they still came out a bit grainy. So yeah, eventually I'll get round to it. Like I said, it's just so hard because I have so many books now it's really hard to actually choose pictures and there's always going to be some that I'm just going to forget and not get around to so or just not feel in the mood to do so this is another one that's very much abandoned still only have one picture in and an abandoned width I really do want to actually do another picture in here and it was on my mind to try and get one done before doing this video but um I just don't have the time I've pulled a couple of books aside that I am currently working in to try and get another picture done before you see them just because they I really wanted to get some done and as I was on holiday I couldn't do that so um there will be a few that I will get done but unfortunately I couldn't make an endless pile so uh, this is when I had to sort of say oh I'm not going to get around to um so very quickly here's the abandoned whip which I will come back and sort out at some point I will probably use some gouache paint or something just to kind of make it better and then this is the picture that I have done Snow White I am thinking of perhaps doing this one on this side because this one won't take ages just so I can try and get a few more pictures done I mean like even something like that these two again they wouldn't take ages and ages to do um and that one's quite sweet I know it's a double page spread there but again I think I could do it so it's just I think again it's just having the time I mean, even that as well, like, I I could get, I could get a lot of the stuff done in there, it's just <laughs> funny time. Right, now we come to some Disney books, um, so I've got a mixture of French and Japanese ones all in here, I don't think I have any English ones, I think they're all French, by French, what I mean is by a French publisher and a Japanese publisher, <laughs> um, so, you are they're going to be a mixture of both in here, oh, and I do have two at the end that are Thomas Kincaid ones, so, obviously those by an English publisher or an English speaking publisher, they probably published in America, but you know, you know what I mean. They're in English, they're not in another language. Um, so I have this one, now for some reason, I seem to really, really love this book and I keep coming to it again and again. And most of the pages in here are double page spreads. Yeah, they do not seem to take me forever and a day to do. I mean, the first one did, when I very first did it. And oh, there is one picture in here that I so want to do this one, but this one really is going to take forever. So one day, I think I, I think I'll have to do it in chunks. I don't think I could do the whole of it. Um, so I have done this one. So this is a Disney, sorry, I forgot to really say what it was about. This is a Disney Seasons colouring book. So it has all the four seasons in it. So at the moment, we're in the spring section with Tinkerbell. Um, so I really, really love this one and I used my whole binds to do this because I had just gotten them as well so I really wanted to test out the colours. I'm just going to zoom out slightly so we can see it all because this book is a bit big. Um, and then I have also done this one. This is a recent one I did of Winnie the Pooh because I kept flipping through this book and finding this page. I thought, oh, I really like this. It's so sweet. Um, so I did paint it all I just did all the background one day and then just thought well now I've done the background I was in the sky I need to come and do the rest of it so I finally did and <laughs> it's just so lovely I really love how bright and vibrant it is it really just just makes me happy to see that um and this was the first page I ever did in here um and <laughs> I do feel like I would have outlined all these in white gel pen but you know I could go back and do it I'm just a bit lazy <laughs> but yep yeah like how that came out um then this is a fairly recent one as well it's stitch and angel i'm i'm i don't think i've ever seen the second stitch which i think she's in the second one never seen it i don't think i've seen the first one i think maybe once or twice 
I'm not a huge Stitch fan, if I'm honest. Loads of people love him. And now, I think he's very cute, don't get me wrong. Just not... The movie wasn't really of my age. Like, I was a bit too old for it to be a childhood movie for me. Because um, I always feel like Mulan is one of those as well. Like, Mulan... Because I was a bit older when it came out. Or at least when I first saw it, I was a bit older. I've, I love Mulan now more as an adult because I really resonate, like, a bit more with the character. Or I really appreciate the character a bit more, should I say. But, like... I just kind of feel like it's just not one of those that I like. But I love how this came out. It was beautiful. And it was for the summertime. So, you know. And then I did this Halloween one. Which is quite cool. And there is some stickles on the bats. And, um, you know, glitter gel pen. Many other things in that one. I did this autumn one a few years ago. Which I really love how that came out. And I do love Chip and Dale. They are so cute. So, I like that. Um, and then I have got this one for the winter time with the Ar Aristocats. I love the Aristocats. I loved this movie so much as a child, literally rewatched it a hundred times. Um, and that's what I've done in that one. And I'm hoping to do a few more maybe in here later on this year. So no doubt I will get to it. Um, I have this huge Disney book that my friend bought me. Um, quite a few years ago and that reminds me actually I need to message them because I sent them a package and I forgot to tell them that I sent them something um, anyway <laughs> that's going off topic um, yeah so she just sent me this and I think it's by the same people who did this book by the way because the drawing style looks very similar so I think it's the same people so most of these are actually this way um and i have only done two again this one is one i haven't come back to but it's just so big <laughs> that's primarily the reason so i did this christmas one with um it's a mickey christmas carol um i think i have maybe seen it i'm not sure i have disney plus now so i mean i could watch it so i've done that one and then the only other one i have done <gasps> oh my goodness i've just seen that there's a chip and dale rescue rangers i loved the show as a kid, I'm, okay, I need to do this. And it wouldn't take forever either. Okay, so mental note to myself, I'm doing this one. <laughs> I need to have a flip through this again, actually. So I'll do that after this video. And then this is the only other one I have done, which is Beauty and the Beast. And actually, when I was on holiday, I dined at the Beast Castle and I got to dine in this room, which was really, really cool. Um, please ignore the fact that my cats are having a fight and they run around, like, now. <laughs> For example, there's Athena. Athena, you need to get off the table. Come on, don't you get. And you, Polo, move. Um, so now I'm on to a few French books. So this is Le Grand Classique Art Deco uh, by Hatcher Heroes. Um, obviously there's an actual artist, but I don't know who it is. So, because <laughs> unfortunately um, I, I know some French, but I don't know enough. So I've done a few pictures in here and uh, is a more recent one as well oh my goodness they're gonna be running around like crazy so apologies if you hear i heard of elephants and some meows and things i had a little fight oh my goodness <laughs> so here is one of the rescuers again this is a movie that i absolutely loved as a child the rescuers and the rescues down under so i wanted to do this one of bernard and bianca so or bianca I think it is pronounced Bianca. I mean, in the UK, we would say Bianca, not Bianca. But I can't remember how they say it in the movie. So, um, yeah, I love that one. And I have got some gel pen and sparkly pen on that. Unfortunately, the paint did bleed through onto this page. So, going to have to figure out how to fix that. Um, and then I have done this one. So, some of these are quite old because this was my first ever Disney book. So I've got Pocahontas, which I have a feeling this was the second one I ever did in here. Um, and then I have, this was the recent one I did, which is of Pascal from uh, Rapun uh, uh, Tangled, which is the Rapunzel story, but I've kind of forgot. I really like that one. It came out so cute. Um, and then here we, here we go. Here she is over here. Um, uh... Here is Mulan. I really like this one. And again, just some metallic paint. It's not very sparkly metallic paint. I think it was just in the early days before I got some really nice ones. And I've got Jasmine. And I know I have one other one, which is the first one I ever did in here. 
and it is this oh i really like this one a new shoe i should do that one um where is the one i have got another one and don't see, oh here it is the lady in the tramp i knew that i had this one and here we have the lady in the tramp which is the first one that i did in here and i really like this one I love how the cats just decide, yep, let's have a, a full on fight. And I hoovered yesterday and there's going to be loads of their fur everywhere. Because after they have a little fight, their fur is just littered throughout the floor. Okay, I can see some blowing around now, so I'm going to have to go and get the hoover out again. <sighs> Honestly. <laughs> um, so here's the second one, Le Grand Classique Art Deco Tome 2. Um, and again, I do have a more recent one in here as well. So yay for coming back and getting some more of these ones. Now this one I don't have as many in because it's just the newer of the two. So I have this one of the Genie. And again, I like to use a sparkly gel pen. Oh my goodness, cats. Right, I pull the Gs. They're like under the table, so they might, might knock the camera again. Hopefully they won't. Um, so I've done that one. And let's see if I can find the other. There's one there, but there's also one there. I don't even need in three. So this is Robin Hood one, because again, Robin Hood is another one of those Disney movies I absolutely love and adore. So I had to do that one. Actually, you know what? I need to do this one of King John because I do like his character. He's really funny. And then this is the one I did recently, which is Oliver and Company. And it was always one of those movies as a child. I always really, 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 really wanted on to own on, on video um, because I hadn't seen it. And although they do, they did put these on the Disney Channel for whatever reason. I think I only ever saw this one once, but like I really wanted to own it on video and I never did. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I think it's just because of the cat. I was like, I like the cat. <laughs> Um, I don't think, yeah, I don't think I have done any others, but there are some really nice ones in here. So, yep, that is everything for that one. Now, here comes my pile of shame. Books I've only done one page in and, or maybe two, one or two pages in and just have not touched in years. So, Block Buddies, I've had this for a few years. I've still only done one in it. <laughs> so, yeah, I need to flip through these because I've probably forgotten half of what they look like. So here is this Finding Nemo one that I did. Um, yeah, Dory and Marlin. There you go. Which you would probably have seen before. And then next is the Disney Mosaics. <laughs> and again, only done one still in this one. I don't think I like this one as much as the others, you know. Um, here is Fantasia Mickey. Okay, let's put, put that one to... To shame over there, and then here is our N Famille at the family. This book has fallen apart. I've only done two in here. I did do one, I think, last year actually. So, this is the one I did last year. So, at least I made a bit of progress. Um, of Jasmine and the Sultan, and the other one I have done will be Hercules and his family. If I can find it. Is it down here? Oh, I feel like I found it. Here it is. I can see some colour. And here is Hercules and... Well, I say Hercules. He's just in the background on a disc. But here's his adoptive mum and dad from uh, Earth. <laughs> um, I can't remember their names. They escaped me. But here they are. So I have done those two in that one. Um, next, this is one I have done a few in. So this one is not an abandoned one. The Silhouettes Magiques one, because I really like this book. And if I just want to do something kind of a bit mindless, something that's not going to take forever, I do turn to this book. Now, this one has also fallen apart, sadly, so um, bear with. Um, so I have Merida. Um, I have used the Calero paints on her, so I tend to find they're a bit more patchier than some of the other ones. So if I tilt it, now she looks beautiful. Um, I did also use polychromos on here and I hate how they just, they just looked awful. So this one I don't, I'm not a huge fan of, so we'll, we'll put that one away. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of that one. So next I have got Pocahontas, so this is a more recent one. And I use my more recent paints, so the Renaissance colour ones, and there's some stickles in there. And it's just so pretty and I really, really like how this one came out. It's so bright. I love Pocahontas as well. She's like one of my faves. So love how that one came out. Um, 
So I like to use metallic paint in the silhouettes. I do like how it looks without it as well, actually, but I just really look, quite like it with it in. So I can see another one. So here is Joy from, or should I say it's just the inside out people in general, but this is Joy in the middle. And I actually met her when I was in Disney World. She was really cool. <laughs> I don't think we realised there was a meet and greet for her. Like, we just came off the figment ride and then they had her and Vanellope von Schweetz, but she was going away. So we were like, oh, there's not a long line. Let's go see Joy. So we did. <laughs> um, so yeah, I used, again, some metallic paints on that one and just made it very bright and rainbowy because it's kind of what it's like if you've seen Inside Out. Uh, and then I've got Robin Hood because, again, like I said, I love Robin Hood. So he's nice and bright orange and I, I love the colours and stuff I chose so the, yeah these ones look really nice so unfortunately that Merida one is kind of pants <laughs> in comparison to the others I think it's just because I decided to use the polychromous pencils and they just did not it could also have just been me not working with them properly they just did not work well on this so I tend to just use Prismacolor from now on on here and as you can see it looks beautiful um and then I have got another one it might just be the Hercules one after this. I don't think I've got any others. Have I got any other ones? Nope. And here we just have Hercules. This was the first one I did because I love Hercules. He is my fave. And he, of course, had to have a bright orange uh, metallic paint on him. And there is stickles on his as well. So, yeah. That's everything I've done silhouettes. And I really now feel like doing another one in there. <laughs> But I do feel I need to, to get to some of these other ones. So like this one, for example, um, Disney portraits, because <laughs> I still have only done two. Is it two in here? Yep, I've just gone past one of them. So here's Basil, the Great Mouse Detective, the movie that scared me to death when I watched it at school. Um, I don't think it's scary now, but when I was five, the bat terrified me in that. <laughs> I mean, it was like I had to leave the school. Like, we have a, a hall that we all went in and watched it on a tiny, tiny TV <laughs> on wheels. Because <laughs> obviously, they have projections and stuff now in schools, but like, <laughs> we did not have that. We just had a small TV. And yeah, I think I saw the bat like cried and had to leave the hall <laughs> because it scared me. Um, it was really funny. But yeah, I was only five though, so you know these things are now oh I thought I had another one in here maybe I don't maybe it's the other one I know no I do because I was like I'm sure I came across it so here's the genie I knew I had another one I was like I'm sure I do so I have the genie and hopefully I will do some more in there <laughs> and then I have got portraits tone two and this one may only have one in I think this one might only have one in and I know it's Dante because that's the only one I can think of uh, da, 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 da. We just got to find it. Is he near the front? Oh, he is near the front. I did all that from the back for no reason. So we got Dante from Coco because I really like him. He's really funny. Um, so yeah, there's that one. Now I really did want to try and do another one from this book, but uh, as I said, didn't get around to it. So still only got one done in the A B C D A. Book, and it's this Tiana one with a T for Tiana um, so any of, of those of you who are Disney fans and love Tiana you'll be pleased to know that there will be a Tiana ride now at Disneyland and Disney World sadly it is retheming Splash Mountain and I love Splash Mountain I absolutely adore that ride um, so I'm really sad that it's not going to be Splash Mountain. I'm probably still going to call it Splash Mountain. I think they're renaming it like Tiana, Tiana's Bayou Venture or something. That's a bit of a mouthful. I'll probably still call it Splash Mountain. Um, I do think it will look amazing, though, with, with all of her stuff in it. But I am sad, though, because I really did like Splash Mountain. But can't things can't stay the same forever. So I can see why they want to change it. But yeah, so that, that's all I've done just in that one. Just Tiana. So again hopefully i'll come back and do another one in there so this is like a kid's book and again i've still only done one i i, I mean like this is a really nice picture and so there are nice pictures in here that i would love to do but again it's just this is not really on my radar at the moment so i have this one and apologies apollo is going through a bag of like it's just like paper and things i had that 
I had souvenirs and things wrapped in and I didn't know what to do with it. So I've just put it in a bag and left it and every now and then he dives in there. So all that rustling noise will be him if you can hear it in the background. So yep, I just have this one with Rapunzel. And then again, I've got some more kids ones here, which I've only done one in. So this is my one of one. Oh, I can see that it's on the next page. I've done Tamatoa, um, purely because I just wanted to use a load of stickles because it's meant to be sh so shiny. So that's that one. And then I've got Frozen one. Do, do, do. It's here somewhere. Where is it? Oh, here it is, Frozen One. And again, that's got some like stickles and things on it. So there's that one. And then Disney Princesses, which again, just has one. Pocahontas. So none of these are like super special. <laughs> and then I have my Disney Kaleidoscopes. Now I do have a new one, but I haven't got round to colouring in the new one yet. So I just have these two. Um, I think this is the first one. Um, I realised as I took them out that I couldn't recall which one was which. <laughs> I think this is the first one. So um, I have done a few in here. Oh my gosh, let's not do... Oh, if we do that, we'll be here forever. And it's like I'm doing a full flip through, uh, flip through. So I have this one of the Little Mermaid. And she's got some sparf uh, sparkles, stickles, and obviously some beautiful watercolour paint. Um, now I think about it, I think this is the second, oh, oh no, maybe it's not. And here's um, Jasmine from Aladdin, again, very stickly and sparkly. Um, and then we've got Alice, again, very stickly and sparkly. This is why I, I love these. I just love using stickles and sparkly paint and things on them. So, um, and then I've got Dumbo, who's got more glitter gel pen on Dumbo. And then I've got a Halloween one. Um, have I got any others? No. Oh, so I could do this Christmas one. Hold on. I should do this at Christmas. There we go. So that's everything. That is the first one, by the way. Um, this is the second one. And I haven't, I don't think I've done as many in here, but I have done some. For a second, I thought that was my picture. And I was like, oh, I've got one so close to the front. But no, it isn't. I haven't done that one. Um, so I've done this Donald one. He's just got some glitter gel pen. I didn't put any metallic paint on him. Um, I've got another one of Jasmine. Again, using some beautiful paints and just a normal watercolour as well, which I do quite like to do. It's quite nice. And I've got a Monsters Ink one with lots of stickles and oh, is that a Christmas one there? No, it's Easter. And then I've got a Halloween one, which I really like this Halloween one. <gasps> so that's really sparkly. So yeah, that's everything I've done there. And then hopefully I will also do some in the new one as well. Like I said, I've just not got round to it yet. Now again, here's another abandoned book. I've only done one picture in. I have another book the same style and I haven't done anything. Well, I have a whip in there which I'm probably never going to go back and do because it looks so awful. I'm, I may be able to fix it. But I did actually catch a glimpse of some of the other pages I haven't coloured in there and that I've obviously forgotten about. And I was like, oh, there's Aristocats in that one. So you know what? I need to flip through these and actually colour in them. I'm, I'm just, I feel sorry for these books. They're very abandoned. But this is a nice Christmas one, although I don't get why there's flowers in it. But anyway, there's some nice pictures in, the, in these. I'm just, I need to actually just colour them in. Like, that's a nice one. I like that one. And even that one's nice. So I just, I need to, I need to do it. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to find it. It is a Beauty and the Beast one. It is the stained glass window, which you've seen many times. The only one I've done in here. So sad. Okay, now I have some Thomas Kincaid ones. Um, again, I haven't done very many in here. I've done this Snow White one, um, which has a bit of sparkle on it. Not much, but a bit. And then I've got Pinocchio one in here. Here's Pinocchio. This was the first one I did. And I think there might be everything in this one. I think I have a plan. There was some 
I wanted to do in here but because I had the other book I kind of wanted to do a picture in the other book so hopefully these are just quite detailed so hopefully I will get around to doing another one in there at some point but because I had this one and I hadn't coloured in it I did want to focus and colour one in here and I did actually have two chosen but I've only done one so I've done this Cinderella one here in this one and I did use some paint in the background just to help the foliage um, I do think actually because see this is very shadowed and quite dark I kind of haven't done that on this one um, I don't know why I just kind of feel like <laughs> for some reason I just haven't done it quite the same as this one it is fine I don't have to I don't have to make this look the same but yeah I just thought that was quite weird and actually now I do think I should have done some more little dots as well on her dress I don't know why I haven't I might go back and do that actually not now um, but there was another one I want to do in here which I will show you um, that again I wanted to just use some like gouache paint to sort of do the background can I find it now that's the question it was this one I was thinking of doing this one with the um, fairy god fairy godmothers I don't know the three fairies from <laughs> from this movie and just doing a lot of like textured stuff with a sponge for like all like probably basing it all so it's all like covered and then just dabbing it because I thought that wouldn't make that one take forever to do but yeah <laughs> who knows if I'll get around to it okay next I have got two huge and I mean absolutely huge oh books I'm gonna have to zoom out slightly so you can see them so these are the Disney Vitro ones or Vitro ones and they are the stained glass window um hatchet books so this is the first one i have done quite a few now i'm gonna have to move this pile because turning the page is gonna it's gonna hit it so there we go um so i've done quite a few in here i absolutely adore adore these and i like to use watercolor pencils so um i have done esmeralda because again the hunchback not done was a movie i watched hundreds of times as a child um i when i went to disneyland paris for the very first time the movie was coming out I think the movie had just come out, so um, they had a parade with Esmeralda and Cosimodo and a lot of that stuff. And of course, now it's like really rare to see any of it. So I feel very blessed and lucky. I actually have seen Cosimodo and Esmeralda as characters. So yay. <laughs> I think they appear every now and then, but they pretty much don't really come out very often. Oh my goodness, this book pile is getting in my way. <laughs> I'm trying to turn it and it's like hitting it. Um... Okay, there's a Cinderella one there. So we have got Cinderella. And I did put some stickles on her glass slipper. Might be a bit hard to see because it's a bit hard for me to sort of like tilt the book up. But yeah, I've done her. Um, I've done Ariel from The Little Mermaid. Uh, we have got Sleeping Beauty. Um, Winnie the Pooh, I absolutely love this one and there's lots of metallic paint and things on there. I, this is one of my favourite ones I've done. So I love Winnie the Pooh. I mean I love Tigger the most in Winnie the Pooh. He, like, Tigger's my favourite but I do love Pooh as well. Oh I like this Hades one, I should do that one. To be honest I like all of them in here, they're all lovely. So I, I should have another one in here. Um, somewhere. I know I've got a Bug's Life one in here somewhere. I don't think I've done any others other than that Bug's Life one though. Just trying to figure out where it is. <laughs> nope, must be a bit further in. Give me two seconds. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, here it is. Here is Princess Atta from A Bug's Life. Now this one, up other than the frame, everything here is actually done with pencil because... I just thought I would do it in pencil and then I thought oh you know what for the frame I'm going to use my Albert Juris and then I realized how lovely it looked with and also the fact that it was a lot easier to color this in using watercolor pencils I just thought you know what that's what I need to do use use watercolor pencils from now on um so it looks it's a shame because I do think this would have looked better if I had done that but you know unless I buy the book again <laughs> it's not gonna happen but yes so that's everything I have done in the first V true, um, 
I'm just going to double check. I don't think I've got anything else. I can't remember or recall anything else in that one. And then I have the second one. Tome 2. Um, this one hasn't got as many in. But I have done a few in here as well. And again, I've done them all in watercolour pencil. Uh, oh, here's a Hercules one. So I've done baby Hercules and baby Pegasus. And I did use some um, dual metallic hybrid pens just to outline the cloud and also Hercules. Because they have that like kind of, when they're a god, they have that like kind of glow around them. So I thought I would kind of try and do that. But yeah, I really... I love it. I love Hercules. I wish you could meet him as a character. I think if you do those like Disney run things, I think I've seen in some videos on YouTube people have met Hercules and Meg. And I'm like, why can't they just be out in general? I love Hercules. And here we have got um, Flick from A Bug's Life because I did Princess Atta for the first picture in my other book. I thought I had to do Flick because A Bug's Life is like a big childhood movie of mine. Like I think I think it was the first Pixar movie I saw in the cinema because I didn't see Toy Story, the first one in the cinema, but I had seen it before I'd, I'd seen that one. Um, and then I've got Coco, because again, I do love Coco. It's so sweet. I've seen that if you go to the Boo Bash in Disneyland, you can meet Ernesto de la Cruz. I was like, how cool is that? They have way better villains, like, in their Halloween party. Um, but then they don't have, like, a fireworks show and things like that in the one that's in Disney World. So there's, like, pros and cons to both. <laughs> so maybe that's everything I've done. What is this one? Oh, I was wondering who that was then. Um, yep, so that's all I've done in that one, just those... Just those ones. So I need to do some more in that one. So I think that's it for all the Disney ones. I don't think I've got any more Disney books that I can think of. <laughs> so um, next I have got Nicholas F. Chandra Winata. Apologies. I cannot really pronounce his name. I tried my best though. So um, I have his book Serena. I have got the other two books now. I had a sort of um, Amazon printed copy of Fantasia, which I think somebody had, I didn't realise it. don't think it was a genuine book. I think someone had obviously just copied it and printed it on really cheap, like really bad paper. It wasn't even Amazon paper. It was just worse than that. And I had done one picture on that, but I donated that book. So I don't have that picture anymore. <laughs> I have got it properly now, but I haven't actually coloured in it, and I haven't coloured in the other one either. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if I... I will probably colour in Fantasia. The other one, I'm not so sure about. Anyway, I do love these, but it's just... They're so huge. It's just, do I want to sit here and spend forever and a day? So I do want to... Like, this one would be a nice one to do. And I do need to finish this one. So I am hoping I will come back eventually. So I have this one. And again, this is quite an old one that I did a while ago. And there's some metallic paint and things on there. And then I think the only other one I have done is the one I showed you last year, which is the one of the woman at the, on the back. So I'm glad I did this one. This is a picture like quite a few people have done and I really like how she came out. So, and she's very sparkly as well. Yep, so that's everything in I've done from him anyway. Okay, so I've just got a fresh stack of books. So this is the rest of my um, bottom bookshelf. <laughs> and there will be a few more in some of the Hannah Lynn ones and things. So these are like Halloween Heaven, Hannah Lynn, Creative Haven, and I think just some other kind of Amazon paper type books. So I have Fairies and Friends special. This is the first Halloween Haven magazine one that I bought. I have a couple of issues. I don't have tons. I tend to only buy ones that I really like the pictures and things off. So I've only bought like, I think two and maybe only two this year that I've bought. I haven't colored, I've only colored in one of them though. But anyway, this is the first one I got. I love the pictures in this and I have actually colored a new one in here. So first of all, I have this fairy, um, very pretty with her stickled wings. I like those. So I have, um, her then this is the new one I did I did the gathering poppy fairy because um 
ages ago I saw this in here when I was obviously colouring the others and I thought I really want to do this one and I just really fancied colouring poppies and I love how her wings are I used metallic paints and I just kind of did my own little poppy field in the background and it looks a bit weird but I just was trying to think of something <laughs> I think I used gelatos as well for the background and then I just used some metallic paint to paint over but I love how she came out she looks awesome um so that was a more recent one and then I've only got one other one in here which oh my goodness can I pick it up and it's an autumnal one which is this one and she's just it's called forest finery and of course there's some sparkles and stuff on there so this was quite an old one so apart from the poppy one the other two are quite a few years older um so, so this is strange and special this is the first ever jasmine beckett griffith thing i owned because i didn't have any of her books at the time so i bought this um and i have only done one because since then i got her books and i've been coloring in her books but it's nice to know i've got second copies of some of the pictures in here so i'll probably do them in the book first and then if i want to do them again i'll do them in this one so i did pipistrello and i did look at the picture of of her i think i may have i don't know i feel like i did some of it my own colors but i also did i did make it look also like her picture as well i can't quite remember like everything but i know i certainly used the like i had to blend my own mix of prismas to make this kind of shade so i do think i did mostly look at what she did but i'd have to look at the picture again to know but i added stickles to her tights because i thought why not and the bats um but yeah I really, I really love how this one came out this one looks so nice and this paper as well she's quite good for quite a lot of pa uh, uh, pencils and things because i find in her books like certain pencils don't work as well like i've sadly it took me a few times to realize this so some of them don't look as nice as they could have so then I have got Animal Wonderland Special, which is by Kanoko Agusa. And if you have um, Symphony of Cute Animals, these pictures are in Symphony of Cute Animals. Um, it does say exclusive design, so it could be there's a couple that you can only get in this book as well. I haven't actually gone and looked through it to see. I think there are, yeah, there's definitely some in here that you only get in this magazine but i have to i have to get both the books out and have a look but anyway i did this easter one now this one is in her symphony of cute animals book um it's obviously just a bit smaller so i did this easter one um and that's all i've done in here because then since then i got symphony of cute animals but if i look through and see which ones are not in her book then i can do those ones in here and again i've just got it just means i've got second second copy of some pictures um, okay, so next I've got the Steampunk Special. So I had to buy this one because there were 15 exclusive new designs which was not in her Steampunk book, which I had already got at the time. So I'm mostly going to be doing the 15 ones in here. So the ones in here will be um, ones that are not in her other book. And I think I've only done one of them, which is this one, which is really cool. I really like her. And I kind of did her kind of like in brown... I wouldn't say sepia, but she's like in brown tones and a bit of golden or bronzy gold and like uh, grey there. So I don't think I've done any of the others. I think it's just that one. Yeah, that's the only exclusive one I've done in here. And then I've done more in her other book. Um, so I have got Woodlands Fairy Special by Christine Karen. Um, I'm not going to get any of her books. I love her artwork, but I... I just feel like I have so many books. I'm actually just quite content with her pictures I have in here. So I've done two. I haven't done any more. I should do really, especially because I'm sure there's some autumnal looking ones in here. Probably kind of do some. So I've done this one. I really like the colours I chose for her hair and her skin and everything. I really feel like she came out really nice. That's the ivy fairy and like her eye colour and things. And then there's one other one. So I'm not a huge fan of the grayscale ones in here. Um... I just, no, I think it might be further in the book. So, like, sorry about that, guys. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan. I really don't like heavy grayscale pictures. So, I mean, I will do them because they're in here, but I just, um, no. <laughs> it's just not for me. That's a nice one for autumn time. Maybe I'll do that one. Um, where is the other one? Oh, here it is. I've got Pine Tree Fairy as well. So, I've done this one too. 
Um, so yep, yeah, that's all I've done in that one. Next I have got, so this is one that I would have bought this year, Fairytopia Special, um, which has new exclusives or nine exclusives by Mystic Mar Art Mirrors. So again, I I have her PDFs. Um, she does have some actual books, but I've only got like the PDFs. So I thought it'd be quite nice maybe to have some just in here. And also because there were new designs exclusive as well, I thought I would get them. So I have done one of those exclusive ones. I think, I think this is an exclusive. Yes, it is. I have done this one and I kind of thought she looks quite Native American. I mean, she might not be. She could just be a native of maybe South America as well maybe you know like Mexico I mean that is North America Mexico but maybe that kind of area um so I kind of like like the colors I went with like the sort of tan yellows and like the turquoise colors I thought would work, work quite nice and then I just done a light like wash um of water color in the background and added some you know <laughs> some sparkly paint so I really like how that one came out it looks really nice so there we have that one um and then now we're on to jasmine beckett griffith who um i really more and more i really actually rather enjoy her work and her pictures um and i was really lucky actually in disney world i saw some of her paintings and things you could buy i have obviously luckily met her because she did that um color in heaven um coloring event so she has to sign my book so you can see she signed it which is really cool um so I've done quite a few in here. I have this one. Um, so some of the earlier ones I do feel like don't look amazing in this book. And um, this is one I did more recently. Um, Durga and the Tiger. I really like how this came out and how I did the background as well. It's really cool. Um, this one of Captain Molly Morgan. Again, is a more recent one and I got to use my zigs on the background which I felt like worked really really nicely and did not bleed through more crucially no bleed through um <coughs> then I got Amara and the book I think this was me using the Koei Noor pencils like the skin tone ones and possibly the regular yeah I think I just used all Koei Noors and again I just don't feel like they work so great on this paper I feel like they and for the background it's got ink tense so that's why it's a bit more vibrant but I just feel like they are just not very intense enough like the colors are very not bright bright enough so I mean I still think the picture looks nice but I feel like if I'd use Prisma colors or like maybe the Derwent um light fast and things like I think it would have looked nice like more brighter and a bit nicer plus how I don't do the hair like this anymore either so I, I could definitely have made her hair look a bit better but yeah I still like it but uh, maybe I'm hoping that I've got that one in the strange thing special and I can redo it um so I have these two and again for some weird reason I don't know why it just seems to be on these little ones my pencils prisma colors were they just kind of went a bit weird <laughs> don't know why they just didn't seem to work as nicely um I, it, I don't seem to have that issue with the other pages, just this one. It could just be maybe this page, Kate, when they were putting it in the book and printing the designs on, just, I don't know, maybe slightly different. I don't know, but either way, I've done the golden, not the golden, I've done the Irish Enchantment, which is this one, and the Black Orchid Fairy. Um, and I have used, I quite like using metallic uh, watercolour just to do the background. So I really like her how she came out the most i don't like how the orchids came out on this one but i like her hair oh sorry it's not the tripod her hair and um like the background and stuff i've done in there looks really nice um so doo -doo -doo -doo. um i should have and then we got the rose fairy here so th i feel like they worked I used Prismas on here, but I, and this is quite an old one as well, so I would have added more shadowing and stuff, I think, now. But again, I feel like this one came out fine. Like, it seemed to work all right on that one. But, yeah, I don't know, don't know why, not the other ones. And then um, this is Hawaiian Volcano Fairy, and this one I used Polychromos on. And as you can see, again, they just, they're not very vibrant. <laughs> they're just very there. Um, so, yeah, I kind of feel like she's a lot more 
paler. It's a shame because like I feel like shadows and things look like I like how I try to do the shadowing on the skin, but it just I just don't feel like they work nicely on this paper and they just look really dull. And I'm not I don't love how I coloured her wings and I don't think that that colour was a good choice. <laughs> um so yeah. I do like my volcano in the background though. I did it exploding, so that was kind of cool. But yeah, I'm I'm just not a fan of how that one turned out personally. And that's everything I've done in um the fantasy art adventure one, her first one. Next I have the Halloween book, so I'll probably do some more in this one. Now Halloween is just around the corner. I'm so it's like I'm I'm I like the fact it's going to be Halloween, but at the same time, I'm sad because I don't want summer to end. I hate the cold and everything. Um, anyway, I've got out trick or treating. I don't know when I did this one. I think maybe a few years ago, like maybe two, two years ago, I did this one. There's a bit of stickles in the cauldron and then there's some gel pen on her. I don't think I did this one last year. I tried to make her look a lot more paler as well. Um, but yeah, I think this is one from maybe two years ago. Um, and then I've got, ooh, I've got a uh, Midagross Coranzon. So this is like for Day of the Dead. So I did um, paint her face to also make it look like Day of the Dead a bit more. She did already have some of these designs on there, but I just used some wash paint to make it a bit more vibrant. So yeah, I like, I like that one. How that came out was quite cool. Um, and then this is like an older one. I think this might have been a buddy colour with KP as well, actually. Um, so if you notice, I tend to use ink tents a lot in the background, but I think now I've got those other pens, I probably will use those because they look a bit more brighter and, I don't know, nicer. Um, again, she's got some gel pen and some stickles, but yeah, this is quite an old one. And then I've got Dance Macabre, Tribal Infusion. I think, possibly, I did this one last year, maybe? I feel like maybe I did. I really like how this one came out though. In fact, I think I've forgotten I had done this one actually. But yeah, I like the stickles on her, like the glowy stuff. I just feel like everything came out really nicely. So I really like this one. But yeah, I can't remember if I did this one last year or the year before. I'll have to have a look on my Instagram. Um, doo -doo -doo. And I forgot this one. This again was a... Um, Buddy colour with KP. Again, I'm not sure if I did this one last year or the year before, but I it's one of my favourite ones I've done in here. Um, I just I just love all the colours of everything. I just think it looks really nice. I think I did a couple picture of how she had done this with the background. I'm not sure if I chose the same colours for her the dress she did and things. I can't remember. But yeah, obviously I love all the stickles and things I've put on there, and I just I just really love how it came out and her pale skin as well. I just feel looks really good. <laughs> Like, she do does look really pale and definitely. Um, and then I've got this one, Halloween Cupcakes. I know I did this one a few years ago. I think this was maybe the first one I did in here because I bought this in that Colouring Heaven workshop thing because um, this was the only one I didn't have. And I wasn't planning on getting this one. But then when I was there and they had the Alice book as well because I bought that there because it was new. And... I thought they would have that one there, so that's why I didn't buy it on Amazon. I thought oh, I'll wait and buy it there. And then I got this one as well. Um, and yeah, it's got stickles on it and nice metallic background. I really like this one, so it was really cool. Um, I think that's everything. So I will probably end up doing some more in this one soon because... So uh, for whatever reason, I tend to only really colour in that one in Halloween, but I'll tend to do a couple of pictures because I know I probably won't get round to doing any more in there. And this is Mermaids, which is very neglected, but I have come back this year and finally done another picture in it. And I do want to do more pictures in here, so <laughs> hopefully we'll have some more. So I think this is the first one I did, very stickily, stickily as you can see. And again, I think I used the Koei Noor skin colours for her skin. And again, it just doesn't look amazing. But her hair, I think I maybe used, I feel like I used the Black Widows. I don't, her eyes look a bit, I need to put more some shine in her eye or something. Her eyes look a bit blur. Um, but yeah, that's that one. Um, so again, this was Buddy Colour with KP, I remember that. So I've got this one. 
again making it look very pale and dreary. This is one I did recently, the Pearl Swell Mermaid. So I wanted to put pearlescent paint in her hair and make her hair white as well. I've not really ever done that before. KP does that a lot. She, oh, I'm really annoyed now because the sun's coming out. I'm gonna move this over a bit because <laughs> I'm downstairs in my living room. So I'm, I'm right by the window so that I know there's a bit of shadow here. There's not much I can do about that. I'll just move the book up. And then I like the shine I put on her tail and I did use some mermaid glitter paint as well so I'm trying to get it so as the sun is out why not show you all the beautiful glitter um so I have done that one that's a recent one and then I don't know if I've done any others I feel like maybe one more maybe or it could not be <laughs> no I don't think it is so I've done no I haven't done any more on that one um but yeah I'm glad I decided to come back and do it I'm just gonna move it back over now because I was just showing, trying to show you more the glitter. So then the last one I have is Alice in Wonderland. And again, I think I managed to do another one this year, but I need to do, I, do need, I just need to do more in here. I think because now I've got four of her books, it's quite hard to choose like, which one I want to do because I really like, I, I just love all of them. So there's one there. So this is the first one I did. Um, I think this is the first one I did. I feel like it is. Um, and I really like how that came out. I did use a Posca to go over all the lines, so hence why there's like no black lines there. And then I think I've only got one other one. I think I've only done one other one in here, um, which is this one, which is a more recent one. I'm I'm not pleased about how the clock came out. I love her hair, love her skin. Her dress again could be better. Um, but yeah, I think, I think I just, it would have looked better if maybe I'd gone over the black lines. It just, yeah, not, not a huge fan of how that turned out. But anyway, there's the stickles. So yeah, that's everything for that. So there's everything for Jasmine Becker Griffith. Um, and I now really, really fancy carrying one of her pictures in. <laughs> so here is a very neglected book, Flowers and Gems by Grazia Salvo. Still only ever done one in here, sadly. Um, and yeah, I don't love all of the pictures in here. I think I've recently had a little flip through and I will do some more in here at some point. It's just, I'm not always in the mood for portraits. <laughs> and some of these again are very heavily grayscaled and it's like, I'm not a fan of the heavy grayscale. Where is that picture that I've done in here? I'm trying to find it. Is it, maybe it's right at the Start. I don't know, where is it? I've got this random piece of cardboard in here as well. Um, where is this picture? <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't find it. I know it's in here somewhere. Oh my goodness, I genuinely can't find it. I can't find it. Um, I'm just going to have it on my lap a second. If I can't find it, then I'm just going to have to skip this one because I can't spend forever in a day trying to find it. <laughs> Which is hilarious because I should write because this book hasn't got a huge number of pages in it. But for whatever reason, I just can't seem to find it. Oh, here it is. Oh, are you kidding me? It was the first page. I thought it was at the beginning. I'm so annoyed at myself right now. <laughs> anyway, I've done this one. I'm just so annoyed that I spent all that time flicking and it was right at the beginning. I really love how her eyes came out on that one. Um, the grey scale is quite useful in terms of knowing where to shadow. Um, so I obviously did use that to help me. But if I'm honest, like, I mean, that is the nice thing about some of the grey scale. But I just, I hate how dark it is. I just, I'm not a fan. Like, this one's fine. This one's not really that dark. It's only got it in a little bit. But some of them are just really heavily grayscale, and I don't like that. So, yeah. Um, who knows when I'll eventually get back to that. So, next, we're on to Hannah Lynn. Woohoo! So, we've got Enchanted Faces. I have managed to do a few more in here recently, so I'm quite pleased about that. So, let me find them. Um, so, we have this one, which I did for Autumn a little while ago. I love her, the colours. I love the wings. Super sparkly. I think I used the Koei Nors. So this is where the Koei Nors actually looked quite nice on this paper. I think it's because they need a hard, uh, less toothy, no, more toothy paper. 
And I find like with the Amazon ones, harder pencils seem to work better on it rather than softer ones. I mean, it's still a bit patchy here and there, but it, it looks way better than what it did. And then I think I've got, oh no, that is that one, but I think there's one before it. And then we have this one. This was the first one I did in here. Um, it looks okay, nothing special. Love her hair, but that's about it really. Um, because this is one of her earlier books, it's got horrifically massively thick black, line, black lines. And I have the normal size version. There is a pocket size version. I think maybe the pocket size version, but maybe not quite as thick. Um, this is a recent one I did. Love how this one came out. Love all the stuff, sparkle I put on her hair and stickles and things. Love it. Um, so there's that one. And then I think the only other one I have is right at the back and is this one. Ooh. And there's this one. And again, I just used some paint to go over her hair because the thick back lines were just no. <laughs> and I'm not using a poster on that because that'll take forever. So I use paint instead. And I really like how that one came out. Next, I've got Mary's fair Fairies and Other Girls of Whimsy. I'm not sure if I've got a more recent. Oh, I do have a more recent one, this one. This one I think I did earlier this year, I think. Um, very sparkly, metallic -y, a lot of gel pen, a lot of stuff going on in that one. <laughs> and then I've got this one from a few years ago, which I really like. How that came out, she just reminded me of the Snow Queen, so there was just loads of stickles everywhere in that one. And then I think the only other one I have is, yeah, this one, which is the first one I did in here. And again, it's okay, it's not amazing. I think a lot of it, I just didn't know what to do for the background and things, so it's all right. It's not, not my favourite one in there. Um, and I've got Enchanted Halloween, so oh, I get to come and do some in that one soon, so... I don't think I've got tons in here. So I've got this vampire one. I think I did this one last year. It's Vampire Lady. And yeah, she's got some stickles, which I'm trying to show you, but I don't think it's working very well. So I've got one right here, I can see. And then I've got this werewolf girl, who it's called, I think maybe, would maybe if I should have white gel penned the hair, that might have been kind of nice to do. I've got this trick or treat one which I don't really love. <laughs> Again, it's okay. Don't 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 love that one. Um and then I've got another one which I think this one I did last year and I used um the what are they called? I used some oil pastels, some metallic ones. I can't think of the name of the company that does them. It's escaped my mind. Um, but I didn't have any solution or anything to blend them. I just used like a Q-tip to kind of blend them and it's a bit patchy. I mean, I do like the background, but yeah, I just think unfortunately it's a bit patchy. Um, so yeah, I, I, I just thought this was a good one to test them out on. So I think uh, if I get a blending solution or something that that will work better. I'm actually saying that I do have these um, fingertip sponges, which you can use to blend oil pastel pastels so actually that would have worked quite well on there I didn't have them at the time though so there we go this is whimsy girls Christmas um obviously I've got a few in here which I've got any so I've got this one which I think I feel like maybe I did this at Christmas time or I could have done it for Christmas in July I can't ow oh, oh my cat's just so like, grab my foot and don't do that <laughs> sorry so they're right under the table and obviously they see my foot and they just like dug my cl their claw in it it's okay I'm not bleeding or anything but <laughs> that hurt um so yeah I feel like this one I did do for Christmas in July possibly I could have done it maybe for Christmas no I must have done it for Christmas this year because she's got glitter paint on her tail I reckon I did that for Christmas this year, or maybe in January, I mean, I might have done that one. So this wasn't a Christmas in July. I, I just obviously decided I really liked the mermaid, so. Leave my toes alone! Whoa. Trying to grab me. <laughs> I think it's Apollo. He's he's usually the culprit of grabbing my feet. And if I'm in my bed, Athena will do it. But <laughs> if I'm down here, he's just like, I love to get them. Anyway, this one's from not last Christmas, but the Christmas before, I think. So I really like how that one came out. 
Oh my gosh, I'm really like, I'm trying to like keep an eye on where he is so he's not getting my feet. He's pro they probably want me to stop doing this and play with them, I expect. Um, oh, he's moved, thank goodness. <laughs> I can safely put my foot back now. Um, so I have this one, which was a Christmas in July one. This was a buddy colour with KP. Um, I just really enjoy doing a coral tree. It's quite nice doing like non-traditional Christmas colours, which is quite nice. I also like the fact that I used purple for her hair and yellow for her thing because I tend to find I use the same colours for the mermaid. So I'm quite happy I did something different, which is nice. I've got the sugar plum fairy with her horrid pink eyes. So the, at least there's two copies of this so I can have another go. And obviously there's like stickles galore on there. Um, and then doo -doo -doo, I've got the hot chocolate fairy, um, which again, very sparkly. And I use the gelatos again for the background for that one. Um, and then I do have one more, oh, it's here. Partridge in a pear tree. So there's this one as well. So some of these, those last three, I think I showed you are kind of more the older ones I've done here. So they're from quite a few years ago. Right, and I've got the fairy tale princess uh, and storybook darlings. I have not done any more in here. I think I've been so preoccupied with the other ones that I've had and only had one picture done in because I've got a few done in here. I think I just thought, oh, I should use some of the other ones. So hence why this one's a bit neglected. But hopefully I will do some more in here. So I have the Cinderella one and, oh, sorry, I just need to pick it up with the other hand. So I was trying to reach. And again, she's very sparkly. And it's so nice the sun's coming out, but at the same time, I'm hoping that it looks okay all on the camera. Um, then I've got this one of Jasmine. I think this was the first one I think I did in here. And again, she's very sparkly. So there's her. Um, oh, I've got the blue fairy who looks again very sparkly and it's kind of okay. Like, I don't love it. So, luckily for me, I've got another one here. So, probably will redo that one. And then I've got the Queen of Hearts. I really like this one that I did. I think it, she looks awesome. And I think that might be everything. Yes, there's everything in that one. So I do need to do some more in there. And again, Maui Mermaids is another one I haven't come back to and done any more in because again, I've done quite a few in here. So I was trying to more do ones I hadn't. So I've got this one. I really like this one. And then I've got a surfer girl. This was a buddy colour with KP. Um, and then I've got this one. I feel like this one I didn't do too long though, you know? This is probably the most recent one, I think. I think I did it last year though. So I don't think I did it recently. Oh, I like this one. Um, just checking there isn't any others. Oh yeah, there's this one. With some stickles in her hair. And then I think this one, a little bit of stickles here and there. And then we've got this one, which I think was the first one I did possibly in here. I feel like it was. Um, and I think I still have that awful whip that I still have. Yeah, this, this whip. <laughs> it's just the water for me. The sand's fine, but it's just how on earth am I gonna, I don't know. I need to figure out. Oh, it's a sunset though. So actually darker water, I think I can make that work. Yeah, we will do that. So I need to get back on that one. Next I have Victorian Darlings. So I have done another one in here. In fact, I finished a whip as well in here. So I have this one. Again, nice and sparkly. Oh, the sun's gone, gone in now. And then this is a new one that I did, I think maybe at the beginning of the year. So I've done that one. I love a carousel. I listened to a podcast about the history of carousels and it's really fascinating actually. So I recommend, if you're interested. Um, I've done the first one again. This was another buddy colour with KP. This is like maybe the first one I did in here, I think. Um, I have this whip. This I'd had for ages and I just decided one day I was like, I'm just, I'm just going to go and do it. I was going to do her hair and gouache, but I didn't like any of the browns that I had and I didn't want to mix colours. So I just did it in pencil. Um, and then I have used some lovely sparkly paint in the background. Um, I do feel like I maybe needed to darken her, like have another darker shade in her eyes just because they look very, like they need a bit more contrast in there. 
But um, other than that, yeah, it's fine. So um, I'm glad I did that one. And there may not be any more in here. No. No more in here. So that's all I've done in Victorian Darling. So I'm glad I managed to get another two done. Steampunk uh, Darlings, I think I have done one more in here this year. So first of all, we have this one. And again, I tried to use some of that gouache <laughs> paint. It's just so you can see all the paintbrush strokes in it. That's the only issue I find with that one. I feel like I was supposed to finish colouring that in and I didn't. <laughs> oh, well. I've only just noticed that as well. Um, okay, I don't think there's any more there. So this is one that I did earlier this year. And I tried to use some of the stickles gel just to use it up because it's just, sit it's just sitting there. Not being used. So, um... I have used that on the steam. Also, just make it a bit more sparkly. Because, um, you know, why not? Um, I like the colours and things I chose for her as well. So, she's, again, more sepia airy. I think I looked up pictures of steampunk clothing. And that's just one design I found that I liked. And then I've got this one. With some very bright green stuff going on there. Uh, I think that's all I've got for the steampunk one. Mythical maidens and curious creatures. Again, I have not done it anymore. And here, just didn't get around to it because I have so many others. So we have got that one. Have we got any others in the front? Nope. So I've got this one of Gaia. Um, and I put like a... Oh, she does have Wink of Stella on her. Oh my goodness, just blinded myself with all the sparkle. Uh, Wink of Stella on her water. Um, I'm just going to leave this over here because the sun is now deciding to show itself again. It's nice though. I like to see the sun because eventually it will just be grey the entirety of winter and it's depressing. Um, so we have this Phoenix one, which is quite an old one that I've done here, but I really like how I did that one. And then I have this one, which is my more recent one, which is the Sphinx. And it's very sparkly, and I love it. And I think that's all I've done. So just three in this one. I need to really need to come back and do some more in there. And then I've got Whimsy Girls through the decades. Again, I haven't done very many in this one, so there's only there's only two in here. So I have this one of uh, a woman at work, obviously. And then I have got this one, the eighties one, which I really enjoyed doing that one. That was really fun. Um, but yeah, that's all I've done in Whimsy Girls for the Decades. Whimsy Girls celebrate the holidays. I've got a few in here. Uh, I've got this Chinese New Year one, which I did do this year. And oh my goodness, it's so glittery. The only downside with this glitter is it, this glitter paint, is the glitter all wipes off. It just comes off. It does not stay on there. Um, which is a shame. But I also, I, you know, I need to use it up, so... <laughs> That's why I thought I'd use it for the background because I was like, I don't know what, what to do. Um, I've got this Mardi Gras one, but first of all, I don't know why. Mardi Gras is actually before St. Patrick's Day, so we'll do Mardi Gras first because this is in February. So I've got Mardi Gras. I do think I should have done a colour for the background. I just didn't know what to do, so I just left it as it was. Um, so yeah, that's okay. It doesn't look amazing. And then I've got this St. Patrick's Day one, which I really, really love. I love how this one looks. It looks really cool. Um, and I don't think I've done any other ones in here. I think that's it. Yeah, just those three. This is my newest one. Whimsy Girls Around the World. So I think I got this at the very beginning of the year, like maybe end of January, February. So I have only done two. I've done, did the first page. I made her look like, I think this is a ver. no, I was going to say Virgin Atlantic, um, flight attendant no this is a british airways one i think even though british airways now i do enjoy flying with them but their customer service not the best because <laughs> this year they've cancelled like loads of flights so i'm glad i didn't fly with them to florida but also they cancelled one of my flights once because they couldn't get another flight attendant and then were really rubbish at sorting us out with another flight so i mean they're not the only airline that are rubbish when it comes to sorting things out for you but yeah if you fly with them though and have good service then as in like you're actually on the plane flying they do do a good service they are lovely and really good but it's just if things go wrong that's where they tend to not be amazing <laughs> so sorry BA <laughs> um but yeah I did have like a British Airways person because I just thought why not and then I did someone from Bali never been there 
maybe one day. It's not, it's like, it's a place I wouldn't mind visiting, but it's not on my, like there's other places I'd rather visit first. So it's like further down my list of places to go, but Bali does look nice. I think it's in Indonesia. I think it's an island of Indonesia, I believe. So there are some stickles and now I'm once again blinding myself with the metallic paint. So there are those two from that book. Um, that's all for Helen Lynn. So next, these are some of them are by Vivid Publishers. I realised some of the Vivid Publisher ones are at the end. So this was just how they were in my bookcase. So I've got Gods and Goddesses. Um, I have done two in here. One of them I did when I was on my holiday in Rhodes, which is in Greece. So this is one I've done recently, which is Taiki. Taiki, I think. So they... She is the goddess of fortune and prosperity um, of a city and, and its destiny. And she has a cornucopia, a horn of plenty, because, yeah, I think she does stuff like that. But there's a little bit of stickles on her crown. Um, so, yeah, I really like doing that one. And then the next one I've done, which is the first one I did, was Demeter. So I've done that one. Um, so hopefully I will come and do a few more in here, because I do like the pictures in here. So here is Misfits. A fairy coming book for adults, not all children, number four. KP gifted this to me. I haven't done any more on here, but it is my plan to try and do one at some point. Maybe I can find like a Halloween-y one. I don't know, there's very there's quite a lot of cute fairy ones in here. I just love the sound of this. Sorry. I just love the sound of that. <laughs> so I have done this one, which is just a fairy like it just wind it says um and she's very sparkly and that's what i've done but yeah I, could, I need to do some more in here but i think it's just like they're very some of them have got like this has got a bit more of a background to it but some of them don't so i think that's the thing i'm like i don't know what to do for the background <laughs> she's really good at doing her misfit pictures i have to say so next i've got a goddesses by coco wyo this is a newer one um but i have already done two pictures in here so i have done hira and she has lovely, the colour peacock paint for her peacock feathers in the back. And I hope these are looking okay, just because the sun <laughs> is kind of, hit, hit, it just seems to be here, there and everywhere. So um, I'm not sure how it's affecting. And then I've got Iris and her very sparkly rainbow, which hopefully you can see. So that's all I've done in that one. And guess what? I've got another goddesses book. <laughs> I love the goddesses um gods and goddesses i absolutely love the, the greek ones the roman ones egyptian ones um the norse ones and basically any god and goddess from any culture or past ancient civil um civilization i i like i like them so i've done this one which is eden which is probably where the name Eden comes from, like the Garden Eden, especially because she's a goddess of youth and springtime and is the keeper of the golden apple. So it kind of makes sense. So it's quite interesting for me historically to see how a lot of, because I, when I studied Greek history, we looked at how there's, um, an, there's an ancient flooding story in that. And it comes also from ancient Mesopotamia. So you can kind of see how a lot of the religions of the world today are connected from, to the ancient ones, which is really fascinating to me being a historian. I love all this stuff. So I'm finding it really cool. So it's like, oh, that's where we get that from. So like the there's a goddess called Hela or Hel um in the Norse mythology and that's probably where the word hell comes from because she was in a realm that was like quite hellish. So it's quite interesting. So there you go. Um because I don't know, it'd be interesting. Hmm, I don't know what language the original Bible was written in. Latin maybe? I don't know. Not sure. Are they I don't know, were they speak Latin? I don't know. No, I have no idea. <laughs> Um, anyway, so there's this one, and then I think I have one other one. Yep, I got this Egyptian goddess one, so I'm going to have to stick it this way. Um, and this one, I don't know, who is it? Bas Bastet. And she's like a goddess of cats. Yeah, which is cool because I love cats, so she's clearly a goddess for me. And I have used like a nice sparkly gel pen to do all the hieroglyphs as well which is pretty cool so yeah that's all i've done in that one and then i've got nutcracker designs oh that was by marty nabel that one and this one's also by marty nabel um and i've only done two in here and i doubt whether i'll come back and do any more both of these are um 
Funny Colours with KP. So this is a recent one we did for Christmas in July. It's a Sugar Plum Fairy. I made her look like the Sugar Plum Fairy, or at least I was inspired by the colours for the Sugar Plum Fairy from the Royal Ballet's Nutcracker, because that's the one I like to watch. And then I've done this one, which is a very old one, so I don't really kind of like this <laughs> anymore, but that's fine. You know, it's nice to see how things change. Next, I've got Main Street. So these will be my Creative Heaven, Haven, Teresa Goodrich ones. I really did want to get another one from this one done again before showing you everything, but I just didn't get around to it. So I'm sure I'll come back. I've been done two. I've done this cheese one, which I did in a day. So that was quite cool. So hopefully I can do the same again, maybe. And then I've got th this bridal shop one which is quite cool. And there is some Wink of Stella on one of the dresses. Hopefully you can see that. I'm not sure if you can. Um, next I've got Autumn Scenes. So this one I'm really hoping this year I actually come back to and do a picture in because I have not done anything in it in the past two years. I think this is probably just a page I want to do for Thanksgiving maybe. I don't know if I will do that one though. So I have got this one. Happy Thanksgiving. So that's a nice thing about this one. It's not just Halloween. I can do some in November as well and then I've got this one and I think that's all I've done in here I don't think I've done any others no just those two um, and then I've got Enchanted Christmas so again I have quite I think I've got three mm, yeah I've got three Christmas books by Teresa Goodridge and I'm sure she's got another one that come, that's going to come out this year as well. I should probably have a look. It's probably already pre-ordered, that you can pre-order it on Amazon. Um, but I might not get it just because I haven't really done much in any of these ones. And I really need to. And um, now I'm thinking, have I done anything in this one? I might not have, actually. Oh, I have. I've done this one, the ice skate. Which is a shame because I did the door the same colour as the skate. So they kind of don't... <laughs> it doesn't stand out. So that was a shame. I was just trying to do different colours and I couldn't think of what colour to do. So yeah, just that one. I've got Christmas Charm. Maybe one or two in this one. So I've done this one. It's nice and sparkly. Um, oh, sorry, I'm just hoping you can see. It's really hard because I have to kind of move it over because the sun shining. It's really irritating. I mean, it's nice, but irritating when you're filming. <laughs> I think that might be the only one I've done in there. Yep, so that's the only one I've done in here. And then I've got Country Christmas. I think this is the first one she did. And I've got this one. So this one looks quite nice. So like the snowman stands out on the door, even though the door is blue. He stands out. And like the ice skate. Maybe I should have done the ice skate white and not blue. Maybe that's what I should have done. I'm, I'm going to say that they were the same door because they're both blue doors. Um, I think, yeah, I think that's all I've done in that one as well. I have started doing a bit of this one. I think it's because I got some pencils and I was showing, I was, you know, just using them to show you. So I think so. I might try and finish that picture, actually. Yeah, that's all I've done. So not very many in her books. I think it's because I've got... Um, I had one, one Christmas, so I did one picture in it. Then I got an, her other book. So I got like a new one. Each Christmas I've had a new one. So I felt like I needed to colour in the new one I've got. And because of all the other Christmas pictures, I just never got a chance to get around to doing it. So this is Nice Little Town 6. Um, and guess what? There is another picture in here that you wouldn't have seen from last year. Because some uh, kind lady, um, she saw this video that I did last year on everything I've coloured. And messaged me and said, would you like to do buddy colour in it? So I did. So I have, and here it is, this is what I did. I made it because it was the autumn time. I made it look autumnal and I just used the ink tents. And actually it didn't take too long to do an ink tents. So again, I will try to do another one in here because I've only done two. And this is the other one I've done. So I do need to do some more in here. But again, it's just, it's just the time I'm feeling like I want to colour in it. And then I've got a nice little town Christmas too. And again, I've still only done one in here. So this Christmas, I do want to try and do another one in here. And it's just this one, which is very stickily. I just find my colours are hilarious, like, because this is from a few years ago. I do try not to do such a random selection of colours <laughs> anymore. 
but sometimes it's just how it is. So I'm just going to show it to you again because I realise it might have been out of frame and have a massive shadow on it. So there you go, that's a better well, the sun seems to have gone in for the minute. And then the last one I've got actually for this video is August Reverie. Um, and I've only done one in here. And there is another picture I think I fancy doing, like this one. Um, again, it's just it's just having the time. Having time to go and do it. Um, it's this one of Clea, Cleopatra. I don't know if it's supposed to be Cleopatra, but I've decided it is. Um, but yeah, that's everything I've basically co coloured for the first part of the video. That's everything on my bottom shelf. So obviously there were some new pictures that you got to see in there and unfortunately there were some not new ones. But like I said, this helps me to sort of see what books I have and it helps me rediscover, oh yeah, I forgot I have this one, I need to do this one. So the second part might be some time before I film it. I might film some of it, but I won't post the video. I probably won't get round to posting the video until I've done some of the pictures I wanted to do in the other books so I'm not sure when that will be out maybe hopefully sometime but late in September I think for the second bookshelf I'm going to have to do that video in two parts just because that is the shelf I have so many pictures coloured in in some of the books so it will take me longer to get through them but hopefully uh, this has been quite long so I've just seen that this is nearly 50 minutes and I had to make two other parts and they're about 20 minutes each, so it's going to be a long video. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye!